Hi everyone, this is Simon Says Anything, and I'm going to do a review on this product called Snap Circuits Extreme. It's an electronics kit. It's basically uh, something we got for our son on his eighth birthday, and uh, we figured, yeah, let's do a review. Uh, we played with it a little bit. Um, it's definitely designed to appeal to children, but uh, it's educational value is uh, pretty much meant for anyone. Anyone can uh, learn about electricity and electronics using this uh, and basically it's safe to use. It's just battery powered. So um, yeah, let's take a look. And here we have the box opened up. We have a couple of compartments uh, with various components. Uh, according to the box, there's over 80 components included. Uh, so everything here comes um, as seen, uh, except for the batteries. I had to provide those. Um, there's no batteries included. Um, uh, it includes various project manuals uh, in increasing complexity. And there's up to five manuals. So this one here uh, is the first one. So there's about 750 experiments. So the first one is 1 to 101. Uh, this one goes to 305, up to 511, 692. And the final project booklet is one that includes, um, uh, you have to connect it to your PC so that uh, you can use it as an oscilloscope. So there's various uh, cool projects there. Uh, for that a little bit more advanced but the uh, first manual basically uh, gets you started and let's open it up so each manual tells you what components are going to be used in all the projects uh, for that manual so as you progress uh, you'll be introduced to uh, new uh, components and it gives you a bit of a description what's included and then your first project right here is uh, the most basic one where you have a lamp and a switch and uh, you know you close the switch and basically your lamp goes on so my son built this one himself and he was pretty much uh, amazed that oh you know I just made electricity uh, what he meant was you know he just made a light come on all on his own right he bu built the whole circuit um, and uh, he didn't think he could do something like that so that was pretty cool and that got him excited about you know moving on to the next project and this one was basically a motor turning a fan again you know it's something uh, you know he didn't know what to expect when uh, he turned on the switch but yeah he you know got him excited so yeah the projects progress into more uh, complex um, arrangements and um, yeah it, the way you basically build these um, you have this grid with these pegs that the components snap into and this helps it pretty much keep it uh, nice and tidy um, there are numbers along the top and letters along uh, the left hand side here I don't know if you can see them, but the manual basically tells you uh, where to put the components so that you don't have to worry about misalignment and things like that. Uh, you just know that um, where you're putting it, uh, everything's going to fit nicely. So that's a cool touch. Um, and the components themselves, uh, as you can see, they're basically um, these little snap buttons here. Um, if you look on the other side of one, uh, they just fit together um, and you know snap in and, and creates a nice uh, solid electrical connection uh, so your circuits definitely will work uh, without issue um, so let's go through these um, these blue um, these are just basically connectors that um, they're various lengths uh, these ones here are basically just to adjust the levels because as you're building your circuits you know they're layered um, to snap into each other so sometimes you need just something to adjust the height of one component 
but um, yeah, there's various lengths of these connectors. Uh, the components themselves, as you can see, they're nicely labeled uh, with symbols. Uh, you got your resistors, you got a diode, um, a couple of LEDs, switches, you know, push button, toggle switch, a couple of transistors, uh, high frequency IC. This is basically to tune in AM frequencies. There's a couple of uh, radio projects in there, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you got a variable resistor. Uh, this is what they call whistle chip. It basically um, closes a, a circuit when there's, you know, um, some sort of loud noise if you tap it. Um, so there's a few projects where you need something to uh, signal a, a switch uh, or a component, and this is used in that. This here is an antenna, again, used for the radio projects. Uh, you have a a uh, photo sensor, uh, this looks like a microphone, I'm not quite sure, I haven't uh, checked into what that is. Uh, you got your capacitors, um, here is a variable capacitor, again used to tune in some frequencies probably. Uh, these here are the, some sound modules, so this one produces music based on some sort of trigger. Uh, this one uh, produces an alarm sound, and this one is a cool space war sound, so you, you hear laser guns and um, explosions and things like that. So that's, again, appeals to the, the child and all of us. Uh, you got your battery holders. Uh, this here is a recording IC, so the project to record your voice or sound. Uh, we have a relay. Uh, an SCR, um, you have a meter, a meter that uh, would measure uh, voltage or current, an amplifier, a motor, and I think that's it for this compartment. Uh, here you have like sort of a generic connector. You could put any component between these flexible connectors here. Uh, a vibration sensor. Uh, this cable here is to connect your project to your PC microphone. So this is how it measures or is how you're able to use your computer as an oscilloscope. You basically connect to your microphone and it uses that to um, basically measure your signals. Uh, obviously, a microphone is meant for audio signals, so you're, you're limited to the tens of kilohertz, but still pretty useful. Uh, here you got a solenoid. Uh, here's your fan that you connect to the motor. Uh, this looks like an FM uh, frequency tuner. You got a transformer. Um, here you got your photovoltaic um, cells speaker and uh, seven segment display so as you can see there's definitely uh, a lot covered here um, from, you know 750 projects you know you can pretty much match these components up in any combination to do uh, a lot of different things a lot of cool things and um, yeah so what's the cost of something like this well i think it goes uh, for about a hundred dollars us um, which is not the cheapest of toys if you you know let's call it a toy um, but again it's educational and uh, you know for a hundred bucks these days you know really like uh, there's not too much um, you can get there that's uh, quality for for a hundred bucks these days and i think this this is very high quality uh, right here um, again these individual components you know they're if you were to get them individually, yeah, they're, they're pennies, right? So, uh, you know, resistors, uh, capacitors, whatever, there's definitely not a hundred dollars worth of electronic, uh, components here. Um, and, uh, I guess I, I can actually do a comparison, uh, in just a moment. So yeah, we're just saying, uh, you know, yeah, there's not a hundred dollars worth of components here. You know, you can, source those individually for a lot cheaper so it's you know 
Uh, let's do a comparison. So you have something like this. Um, there's obviously more components that come with this kit than, uh, than I'm showing here, but you know, my point is if you were to go to your kid and say, oh, look, uh, let's build some cool electronics projects with this, uh, they'll probably look at you funny and walk away. Like, there's nothing appealing about this at all. Um, and, you know, these leads here, they're, you know, they're very um, fragile. Um, you know, how do you know which piece does what, uh, you know, compared to this where everything's labeled nicely. Uh, it's got the values uh, clearly marked, um, you know, easy to put together. Uh, yeah, this, believe me, is not going to interest a child in electronics at all. And I can speak from personal experience. Uh, my father was an electrical engineer and he would bring home things like this to, to play with. And he would, you know, show me, oh, look at this LED lighting up or a seven segment lighting up and, uh, you know, things flashing, whatever. And yeah, maybe it's cool for five minutes, but believe me, I wasn't going to sit down um, on my own and start building circuits based on that. Like um, if you look at these manuals, this alone, I mean, just everything clearly demonstrated and defined and um, explained, uh, this alone is worth a lot of money, you know, um, in your especially if you're looking to educate your children, this is a great way to get them started and, and something that, you know, who knows if, if they end up uh, getting into um, electronics as a profession. But again, the imagination that these um, projects can um, spur in your children uh, is limitless. And I, I sort of compare this to Lego um, where Again, I would have no problem my, with my kid, you know, spending hours with Lego uh, to learn, um, you know, how to build things and, you know, spur their imagination. Uh, this is sort of the equivalent of that uh, versus them sitting in front of the TV and watching Pokemon. Uh, I'd rather have them uh, playing with something like this. Yeah, so I hope this video was informative. Um, there's uh, links in the description to uh, Amazon for this product. Now they have different uh, types of uh, sets. Uh, this is sort of the catch-all. It has a lot of uh, the, the components that you'd find in the other sets. Uh, but yeah, you, you know, you don't have to start off with the most expensive. You could probably find something else to, to get your kids uh, uh, interested in, in electronics and just uh, build up on that. But uh, again, uh, this one, 750 projects, it's it's pretty much um, going to keep them busy uh, endlessly. And yeah, my, my son would basically, you know, start building his own circuits, you know, after two or three projects, he was like, oh, what if we put this component here and this there? It just gets them you know, experimenting on their own with different things. Um, so yeah, you're not limited to the 750 projects. There's pretty much no limit as to what they can build with it. Again, this is like the Lego of electronics. Uh, you know, with the Lego kit, you have your, your manual to build what that set was designed for. But then after that, you know, that gets uh, pulled apart and they start building uh, neat, uh, things out of their own imagination and this is probably the same sort of uh, concept so yeah hope hopefully uh, you know this uh, was informative and um, take care goodbye